with a yo ho ho it's Taylor the Toaster welcome to the last of the Legend Gate episodes there's quite a lot in the game it's a shame they've got no reward but finally in the last one we tasted true challenge against Team Ogre the rest of them have been pretty straightforward but now in the Galaxy 11 versus Ixar fleet I'm gonna see if there's any difficulty left in the tank I wouldn't imagine so, but I'll go over it in the stats screen. <laughs> no matter how much scum gathered, it will always be scum. We are Ixar Fleet, rulers of the universe. Kneel for your rulers. No, we protect the Earth. No, the galaxy. I will absolutely not lose. This is specifically the Galaxy 11, not the XR fleet. That is to say, it is JP and his comrades from all of the other planets who joined the match against the XR fleet halfway through the final boss of this game. It's a level 40 team against a level 50 team, so that is not too bad, especially when all of our players have access to their totems and all of their strongest moves forgotten how to use totems it feels like it's been so long since I actually had to but you've got giant beanstalk you've got water wall like everyone is in exactly the same state that they were when we actually did this final boss battle um, during the main story I believe the reason this is a legend gate is a because there was there wouldn't be one for the go galaxy teams other than resistance national versus Inazuma national but B, because when you're playing Ixar Fleet in the main story, you play as the Earth 11, then the Galaxy 11, and then you play as a hybrid of picking from both teams. Whereas if you do the rematch, which is all you have access to in the game now, you exclusively play as the characters that you have access to, i.e. the Earth 11. So I think they put this legend gate in the game just so that you can play the other perspective and actually do the match on command with the rest of um, your Galaxy 11 teammates but there's no actual difference in XR fleet themselves and they still only have one move each and they don't have enough TP to use them twice so pretty abusable this should be a bit of a free run to be honest the goalkeeper will still bring out his totem so that will be a little hard to beat um, but as long as I can get one then we should be able to get the rest feels good after the team ogre match to actually just reliably be able to win interactions against the opponent we're still 10 levels lower than them like that doesn't change they should generally be winning when both of us are going for move interactions but the goalkeeper is going for his totem, so I will do the same on Ganderas and hope that he isn't offside. We'll find that one out in a second, but it's a little crazy that this is the third, technically fourth, video that I've made against Ixar if the finale was split up into two, which it wasn't in the end. Well, they still had a, a setup episode in the one prior, but we have the actual story finale. Then we have the Ixar rematch, and now we have the Legend Gate against the Ixar fleet. And you know what? They probably have a level 99 competition route match as well. So the amount of Ixar fleet matches that I could be making on this channel is absolutely absurd. Um, obviously, we were never going to score with 666. That was just too cursed to go in. Um, but not offside so if I may pass to my friend with a critical yes I actually may that's unexpected uh, this is gonna be mark of the berserker right so my totem is gonna disappear I'll still be able to dribble with Ganderez right at least take the shot now it put the opponent too close to me and I lost it by default that's a shame so that did screw me over in the end. Bring out JP's thing. Um, I can't use that one anymore, so I guess we'll just go for Ruger as a like-for-like -like swap. 
This is still giving some difficulty, but it's just conventional in Azuma Go Galaxy difficulty, i.e. how do you beat goalkeeper totems? They're kind of broken. But we will find a way through, be it through AI exploitation or just eventually running it out over the course of the match. So give me some time. Gravel gavel! <sighs> yes, that's me quote, quoting the Portuguese dub. This is the first time I can record a video with actual Go Galaxy characters in it since I worked on the full Portuguese moves montage. So um, expect a fair few more of them. Um, like, for example, actually this guy didn't uh, have Scorching Skydive in the anime. This is game exclusive, so we can't, we'll never know what Scorching Skydive would have sounded like. It certainly wouldn't have sounded like Scorching Skydive because that is not the official name of the move. That's one I came up with to make up for the fact it doesn't have an official name. Pass over there, please. Well, that's my fault, I guess. Should have seen that one coming. I've only taken one shot and the opponent has got his totem to level three now. That's bad. But we can beat Ozrock without a special move, no matter the level disadvantage, because he just kind of sucks like that, unfortunately. Let's bring out Daruga. I still don't rate his odds of winning a dribble to here, to be honest. So let's pass. That worked. Totem strike. Shoot up level three. Can I beat a level three totem that has access to its move? I don't think so, but I will take the opportunity to do 1004 power. AI floor. We'll score then. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. The voice clip is Arian, even though Arian is not anywhere on the pitch or the bench. I guess they didn't give JP any voice lines for being a captain, which is a little odd because. Ricardo has lines, Victor has lines, Arian has lines, Gabby, I think, has lines, because he's the captain of Ryman. Basically, anyone who's ever been a captain uh, can have voice lines for the goal celebration if you make them the, the lead player in your roster. But JP was never the captain of anything, so he doesn't get lines, I guess. Uh, Osrock will have some if he scores. I'd certainly like to hear that, but maybe if we get another goal first. Ogar is unstoppable. He's long said goodbye to his... Mo oh, what the heck? I tried to use Giant Beanstalk, but it just passed to the side. I guess I missed the S button. I'm still playing, recording this on the same day I did the last three Legend Gates. How oh, fine. Let's have a bit of security. Atlas can come out. We're not going to see Stargazer, but we might still see Osrock's Totem Strike, which I still like a lot in its own capacity. Like, that would still be an S-tier shot in its own capacity if it was on my special moves tier list. Um, I'm obviously never going to make a Totem Strikes tier list. What? Would anyone really like to see a Totem Strikes tier list? I, I can if there's huge demand. I've already said no to making a Fighting Spirits uh moves tier list because I simply don't like enough of them. The stationer would get S tier and that would be about it. Totem Strikes I at least like a couple of them but Osrock uh, clearly having my favourite. Are we really going to go down with just a 1-0 win here though? Like This is meant to be the fun little free ride. Use 11 extremely good players from the Galaxy 11. Just have some fun with it and get some goals as you Meme on XR for the third or fourth time in your respective playthrough. They may be the final boss, but boy, you sure get a lot of playtime out of them in the end. But not today. This is definitely being harder than it was in the actual uh, match encounter. That's... where's everyone gone? Uh, here we go. Let's do some dribbling with you, please. For the planet of Nyadi, get some rep for the last time ever. You don't have a blocking move. Oh, oh we, we thought he did there when he did the uh, 
the, the flex pose, but no, we, we make it past only to then get the ball taken from us because I didn't bring up her totem. Sorry, Plink. That was it. Uh, I guess I can bring it out now. It feels a little wasteful now. Uh, already three active because I got JP in, in goal. That's it, you know, power up a little bit more. They've finally got their third totem on as well. Everyone's using them as best we can. Six on the field. This is Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy at its core. Uh, this is Inazuma as Akihiro Hino intended. What are my special tactics? Yes, I do have box lock. It gives you absolutely everything that was available to the Earth 11 at this point in time and more, seemingly. I have Cascading March, which... I'm fairly sure I had to unlock separately, right? Um, Scream of Eden is going to get blocked here, but nice to see it one more time. Rah! That sounded like what you're doing, Mr. Volcano. <laughs> Good little Volvic uh, moment getting in there. You can block it, but... Um, sorry, this is still looking like an L for you, King. 885 stunned. So, wow, all right. Great defense there from Meteo at the death. I was saying both at the death and at the depth, so it just came out as at the depth. Can I take another shot, please, while the goalkeeper's stunned? Uh, no, they absolutely refuse. But that could have been quite a free goal if they didn't just run, run out to auto-block me. Fair play, I can't be mad at that one. That's just, a, for once, an Inazuma defender who actually gets some spotlight being a good defender. I can box lock again, and I will. I would let Ozrock take the shot if I had more than a one goal lead, but I don't, so I won't. <laughs> I'm fairly sure JP can still block a shot regardless, but no point taking any risks and losing at this point in the match when we've come so far. Finally we get another successful interaction out of that guy for once, only to pass it to someone who doesn't stand a chance. I should really get Ganderas out of the way. I've probably had many opportunities by now to take him off the pitch because our guys on the bench are, as we know, very talented players but just haven't had uh, time to think about them because I've been focusing on keeping this teeny weeny little lead we've got going on. All right, then hit me with your best shot, Loge. <laughs> How am I meant to say that? Hey, Magical Amplifier getting a chance. 539, we can block that, right? Right? Right, I think so. Yes, there was, there was no need for concern. Uh, can I afford another special tactic? Well, I pressed the button and then it went away because the game prioritized this interaction. Uh, can I then? No, we're all spent. I can't bring out the totem either because I've still got all three active. But let's take a second shot. Why not? No bonus. Phobos is now on level 4 and catch plus 150, so that is to say we're not scoring again unless they handed us a second AI error, but I don't think we're getting the opportunity anyway with three minutes left. So we simply have to not lose the next three minutes. This was harder than I expected. Does this make it the second hardest legend gate? Maybe I'm just not used to the gameplay of Go Galaxy anymore, but uh, I think Team Ogre is the only one that's given me even a remote challenge. But this definitely counts as fairly difficult. There's a clear strategy for winning. You have players who are strong enough to score goals, and there's a absolute root of defense against these opponents who could only use one moves e move each. And you have Box Lock, which you can use twice. So not that hard, but it definitely made me work for my 1-0 victory that came solely off of the AI goalkeeper being bad. So, fair enough. I won't do them in. Oh, we are defeated for the third time in the Let's Play. I can't wait for the fourth. Now, the fourth one's going to be the level 99 competition route, so that's the one where they actually win. I'm calling that now. 
but oh well, Dead Star Low has seen us recruit pants from this uh, from this area. It has seen us beat Ixar fleet yet again. There's Sylvan Hash for a bit of fun. So I'm meant to be training that guy up in Supernova. I just haven't played Supernova in a few months. But don't worry about that because the next video... If it's not the QR code video, I guess that will be the start of the level 99 competition routes. Which is pretty wild to think about. Unless, again, let me know in the comments, is there anything I've missed that you want me to make a video on in Go Galaxy that isn't just the level 99 competition routes? Because as far as I can tell, that is all we've got left until the competition routes guide at the end. I'm acting like we're almost done when the competition routes literally could offer me about 30 videos if I if I did all the matches. But, you know, as far as Legend Gates are concerned, that's it. So, hope you enjoyed them. And we'll see you in whatever comes next. Bye now.